Cersei tasks Bronn with eliminating her brothers if they survive the war against the White Walkers. Tyrion reaches Winterfell along with Targaryen forces, in order to assist the North in the Great War. When the Northern Lords are angry with Jon for giving up his crown to Daenerys, Tyrion speaks up for Jon, saying his efforts managed to secure them the greatest army the world has ever seen, to defeat the Night King. However, when Tyrion reveals they allied with Lannister forces, their anger erupts again. Tyrion finds Sansa for the first time since they last saw each other at Joffrey's wedding and note each other's new titles. Tyrion calls the wedding, a miserable affair, though Sansa sardonically remarks, it had its moments. She calls Tyrion out for believing that Cersei will honor the pledge to send the Lannister forces north. She is disappointed in Tyrion, saying she used to think Tyrion was the cleverest man she ever met. Several days later, Jaime arrives at Winterfell after realizing Cersei wasn't sending her forces to assist them. Tyrion vouches for Jaime, saying he knows him. Daenerys replies, like your sister? But Tyrion explains Jaime came anyway, knowing how he'd be received. Daenerys is furious with Tyrion for not expecting Cersei's betrayal, but is mollified by Jorah. While preparing for the battle, Tyrion, Podrick, Jaime, Brienne of Tarth, Tormund and Davos Seaworth engage in drinking, with Jaime knighting Brienne. Tyrion watches the White Walkers' arrival from the battlements of Winterfell. Tyrion survives the Battle of Winterfell and some time later, he mocks Jaime for sleeping with a bigger woman. They are, however, caught unawares by Bronn, who has been sent by Cersei to kill both her brothers. Tyrion has his nose busted by Bronn who hesitates to kill him, believing Daenerys still has a good chance of winning, and states he has been promised Riverrun as a reward. Tyrion reminds him of his promise to double the price anyone paid to murder him, and promises to make him the Lord of Highgarden after the war upon which he relents. He later takes part in planning the Battle of King's Landing. He, along with John and others, convinces Daenerys in besieging the city instead of using the dragons. After learning of John's true parentage from Sansa, he informs Varys about it. All hopes for a peaceful surrender are quickly dashed, after the Iron Fleet's ambush and Cersei having Missandei executed, even though Tyrion begs Cersei to surrender, for the sake of her unborn child. While King's Landing is being besieged by the Unsullied, Tyrion returns along with the Queen to Dragonstone. When Jon returns to the island, Tyrion overhears Varys pleading with him to take the Iron Throne and informs Daenerys about it, though he unsuccessfully begs for forgiveness for the spider. Tyrion tells Varys he was behind his betrayal being discovered, and bids a final goodbye to him, before he is burnt alive by Drogon. Daenerys, who now believes she can only win Westeros through fear, is seemingly persuaded by Tyrion to stop attacking once King's Landing surrenders. She informs Tyrion that Jaime had been captured while trying to sneak into the city, warning him not to fail her again or it will be the last time. Before the Battle of King's Landing, Tyrion secretly releases Jaime. He convinces him to try to convince Cersei to have the city surrender and flee with her to Pentos to start a new life, for the sake of their unborn child. He also tearfully thanks Jamie for being the only family member to treat him with love and not as a monster, before the brothers hug. However, Tyrion's plan is foiled when after the city surrenders, Daenerys has Drogon burn King's Landing and raise over the Red Keep, killing Cersei and Jamie in the process. Tyrion stares in absolute horror at the untold destruction of the city. After the destruction of King's Landing, Tyrion, Jon, and Davos walk through the remains of the city, horrified by the devastation. Tyrion decides to go to the Red Keep alone and goes down to the cellars where he discovers the dead bodies of his siblings and tears up. After Daenerys finishes her speech on liberating the whole world, she confronts Tyrion about him freeing his brother. In response, he states that she slaughtered a whole city, and removes his hand of the queen brooch before throwing it away in disgust. Daenerys, furious at a further betrayal, orders him arrested. Jon later visits Tyrion in his cell and they speak of Daenerys's actions. Tyrion admits he was wrong to betray Varys who turned out right all along about her. Jon struggles with what Daenerys has become and wants to believe the war is done, trying to reason out her actions due to the various traumas she suffered but Tyrion tries to make Jon see the threat Daenerys now is. Tyrion tells him, I know you love her. I love her too, but not as successfully as you, but I believed in her with all my heart. Love is more powerful than reason. Jon reflects, love is the death of duty. Tyrion further says that duty is the death of love. 
He realizes he's asking John to do a terrible thing, but tells him it is also the right thing to save the people as Daenerys is now the biggest threat. Tyrion warns John that Daenerys will always view him as a threat to her rulership because he is the true heir to the throne. John struggles with what Tyrion is asking of him due to his love for Daenerys. Tyrion reminds John of his sisters, expressing his belief that they will not bend the knee to Daenerys. John leaves, troubled. John tries but is unable to dissuade Daenerys from her path of destruction and reluctantly assassinates her, upon which he is imprisoned. Weeks later, Tyrion is tried in the Dragon Pit by all the Lords of the Seven Kingdoms. Tyrion convinces Grey Worm to let the new King of the Seven Kingdoms punish John, after the Lords of Westeros oppose the Unsullied's desires to punish him. He then asks the Gathering that they should choose the new monarch of the Seven Kingdoms and end the war once and for all. After some rejected ideas, he suggests Bran Stark to be named the new king, because he is the living memory of the world and it is stories that unite people. Despite concerns that Bran could never sire any children, Tyrion says it is for the better as heirs often don't make good kings. He proposes that all the lords of the Seven Kingdoms choose the new king, which is accepted by all except Sansa. Bran picks Tyrion as his hand so as to charge him with atoning for his past mistakes in both supporting and committing treason against Bran's predecessor. Grey Worm opposes it initially but relents. Later, Tyrion visits Jon and informs him that a compromise has been reached and he is going back to the Night's Watch. Jon accepts this and asks Tyrion if what he did was right. What we did, Tyrion corrects. Jon says it doesn't feel right. They bid farewell. Tyrion telling John they'll see each other again, saying he wants to go pissing off the wall again, after serving for a few years as the Hand. Tyrion reforms the small council, now consisting of Bronn, now the Lord of Highgarden, as Master of Coin, Davos as Master of Ships, Sam as Grand Maester and Brienne as Lord Commander of the Kingsguard. He also seems to have retrieved the silver hand brooch that was gifted to him by Daenerys, indicating that despite having ended their relationship on bad terms, he still believed in who she used to be and the wheel she wanted to break. King Bran however notices the position of Masters of War, Laws and Whisperers are vacant, which Tyrion assures will be filled before the king goes away to find Drogon. They then move on to their primary tasks concerning the rehabilitation of King's Landing, providing clean water, food to civilians, the reconstruction of the royal fleet and the ports. As Bronn discusses using some of the crown's gold to rebuild the city's brothels, which is met with opposition, Tyrion relates how he once brought, a honeycomb and a jackass into a brothel. As the last surviving child of Tywin Lannister, Tyrion has finally become Lord of Casterly Rock, the title his father has been trying to deny him of for so many years.